next to me, you know, from Mob Wives Season 2 airing right now on VH1. Drita Devonzo joins me here on the Ralphie Radio Show. Drita, thank you for the time. No, thank you for the invite. Yes. Now, you know, when people are watching Mob Wives, I go on Twitter. They tweet about the show. They tweet about you. And it's not just, I love Drita. It's, I effing love <laughs> Drita. Why do you think, I mean, I really, I don't see this with they many other that. reality stars. Why with you do you think that people effing love you so much, not just love you? <laughs> because there's an extra oomph to it. It's, yeah. you know, just loving someone's kind of weak. What do you do, though? What do you do that, that draws that out from people? You know what? I just feel like everybody has that side of them. I just keep it real, and I'm myself. And they're like, they feel comfortable being them, like their self. So it's kind of like, I just think it brings it out like that. I don't know. Are you, are you like that even off camera as well or no? We haven't had that much time to spend off camera yet, so I guess I wouldn't know. But Well, you know what? A lot of people always ask me, are, you know, are you like that on the show, blah, 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 off the show? My friends for 30 years, they tell everybody questions them. They're like, your friends with us since you're five years old. What is she like? And she always tells everyone, I never had an argument with her. She's the easiest person to get along with. All she does is crack jokes, laugh. So what you do see on the show is me because I can never not be me. But you do also, you know, there is editing. So they're going to get the moments that capture, you know, entertainment. So you're not going to see me always joking around, laughing and having a good time like I like to do. They're going to go to the, fo you know, they're going to focus on the main The controversy parties. and exactly. some of the, the conflicts. So really, but am I like that? Yes. When I'm angry? Yes. All that, I am myself. Yeah. Do you get any say in the final cut or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, dumb, I would hey. be like, hello, take the fight out. Well, but I mean, obviously when you first started this series and maybe even now, there had to have been a good amount of agita behind the scenes. No, especially with some of the men over you guys doing this and what was going to be shown or at least what they thought might be shown. Well, yeah, yeah, there was definitely controversy. I mean, all the, you know, all the girls were like, you know, this was a big thing. I mean, when they came forward, it wasn't like, yes, we're going on TV. Yes, it's a reality show. We, none of that. Of, us were like that but at the same time all of our men are already in books my husband's been in books he's written about same goes for Karen's dad uh, Renee's father so it's nothing anyone doesn't know about and we really do concentrate on ourselves so I think that kept them at peace and there's really nothing about them that it's not already you could google it right oh no you're, you're absolutely true do you think a show like the Sopranos maybe opened the door for something like this to be as so successful as it was yeah Oh, yeah, 100%. I do think that it was successful overall because every mob movie, gangster movie is just a phenomenon. Everybody just still watches The Godfather and they still watch these things. Of course, uh, absolutely. But n now it's gotten to the point where Mob Wives is becoming like a real Housewives franchise. Yes, it you're is. branching out. Chicago's starting in the spring. Are you going to watch it? Do you, will you find yourself sitting down d or at least DVRing it? Because I know you're busy. I definitely want to tune in and see what's up with them. I want to see... <laughs> I want to see if I, you know, there's whack jobs on there like there is on my show. <laughs> well, they started filming in December. Do you know any of the wives on there? No. Oh, you don't know one? No. Don't, so, so when you see everything on television, it'll be new to you. Oh, yeah. And I'm very, like, I'm actually a very private person, so it was really difficult for me to do this show. I tell no one anything, none of my business ever. I don't speak of my business. I worked in the same department store for six years, seven years. No one knew anything about me. They didn't even know I was a single mother. So they are probably now watching this show like, what? Do you know a woman that could stay with another woman 55 hours a week and never tell her anything? No, I don't, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's no. what I'm trying to explain to you. That was me. So there was one girl in the whole department store. It took me two years to build trust in her, and I told her where my husband was. Being um, it, within the, the families and the people you know, you're, you're already... It, no pun intended here. You're already well connected. You already have a lot of connections right. if you want to do different things. But how many more connections, how many more doors are open when you have a hit reality show? Like how many more can open? It's really amazing. The opportunities are endless. And that's exactly why I chose to do it because I want to focus on taking care of my kids and moving forward. I'm going to be in a music video with French Montana, which wow. I'm beyond pumped about. Congrats. Thank you. And I have uh, my cosmetic line launching, which is a dream for me, a makeup artist's dream. I have a lot of things, workout video. It's just, like I you said, You just started endless. modeling too, right? A, a swimsuit line? Yes, I, I've been modeling since I'm 14. I did print work for years. Even after I had Aaliyah, I still modeled. Aaliyah was actually a baby model. So awesome, I, good for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, now I got back into it, and now I got lucky to do a bathing suit line. 